From Africa today, Kenya is Dr. Ken Stewart, Assistant Professor of Primary Care at KCU Joplin. The team from KCU in Kenya is there to learn more about community health care and diagnosing and treating a variety of conditions not commonly seen here in the U.S. Oh man, we've been having a fantastic clinic uh, with all the students from KCU. So you guys went in November. How long are you going to be there from the time you arrived until the time you leave? Yeah, we're heading, we're heading back home on the 12th of December. So we should be in the States late, late on the 12th. Okay, and uh, we got a little bit of information about all the things that you guys have been able to do. Tell us what you've been doing since you got there, because this is just mind-blowing to me. Every doctor in the world needs to do things like you do, Dr. Stewart. Oh, it's, it's phenomenal. Uh, the students really get a great opportunity to learn about how to practice medicine in some very austere environments without all of the additional uh, you know, equipment and kind of bells and whistles of working in a, 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 like a hospital in the United States. And so uh, it's been phenomenal. Uh, I, I know the temperatures uh, there in Kansas City and in Joplin have been cold. We've been enjoying temperatures in the low 80s. Mm, we have not. <laughs> Gosh, that sounds wonderful. We're looking at some pictures right now of some things that you're doing. What has been the experience? What's it been like there? And do you see faces just light up on a daily basis? They're so glad you're there to help. Yeah, it's been very, very positive. You know, a lot of these people will be traveling. They'll walk to the clinic and they'll be traveling for miles and they'll wait for hours to be able to see one of our clinicians. So they're very, very motivated to try to get uh, get an opportunity to be seen by an American doctor and uh, very exotic diseases. We see a lot of malaria. Um, the beautiful thing about what we do is we kind of fill it, backfill a clinic that's there 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. And so we kind of augment them. We don't just kind of come in, uh, take care of people, and then leave and leave a big void. We really have a great opportunity to continue the care that the people in that area of Kusumu need that kind of care. So when you, when you all are in Kenya, it seems to me that you are treating people who might otherwise not be able to be treated for health-related issues. That's got to be life-changing for them. It is. It really is. And, you know, we pick up on some pathology and some diseases, you know, that need to be moved on to a higher level of care. And so, you know, just being able to identify those, we bring, uh, you know, ultrasound with us. We're able to identify some pathology that we can sometimes refer to some of the uh, more specialist doctors in Kenya and Kisumu and Nairobi uh, if they have a you know, higher need for a higher level of care. So it's really, really a great connection that we have here in Kenya. And with that ultrasound, you were able to let a mother see her baby that I hear she was so excited about. That would never have been possible without you all being there. Yeah, she didn't even know she was pregnant. And so once she found out she was pregnant, we were able to show her you know, images of the baby, and she was just very excited to be able to see that. Oh, my goodness. So you get up early in the morning. You stay up late at night like you are right now. How many, how many patients do you personally see throughout the course of one 24-hour period? Well, we usually go to clinics sometimes around 10 o'clock in the morning, and then we'll do rounds on patients that had been admitted overnight or the previous day. And so the students get the opportunity to kind of see how the, the, the health care providers care for the patients in, in that kind of a setting. And then we go out and we start seeing all the patients that showed up to clinic. So we usually stay there till about 4 or 5 o'clock p.m. And then we have about an hour uh, bus ride back to the hotel. Uh, and then we usually have a debriefing. We'll have dinner. And then by that time, we're all pretty exhausted. <laughs> I could yes. only imagine. So many hours giving so much of your time. We've been wanting to catch you when you were there. And we appreciate you staying up till midnight so you could do this with us. What's, what's the most heartwarming part? Is it seeing the little kids when you get to, to help them? You know, really, it's seeing the, all of the people. Um, they dress in their Sunday best. Um, it becomes very important event for them to show up 
And uh, it's just very heartwarming to see all the kids and, and to watch the faces. What I think really impacts me the most is you'll see somebody walking along the side of the road and they kind of have a kind of a stern look on their face. And then you, you raise your hand and you wave to them and you smile at them and their face lights up and they have a big smile on their face and they wave at you you know like you're a celebrity and it's it's really really amazing to see that transformation you are a celebrity exactly. you're a big celebrity in Joplin now you are a worldwide celebrity so Dr. Stewart and everybody from KCU I I can't even begin to think how much of an impact that you all are making thanks so much for talking with us today here on living well we can't wait till you're back in the studio you're one of our favorite guests well, thank you, Gary. It's good seeing both you and Shelby. Always enjoy just visiting with you. And uh, uh, thanks for taking the opportunity to let us kind of showcase our, you know, our, uh, our Kenya trip. Oh, we're so glad that we did. This was, this was wonderful. We've been wanting to do this. So thanks so much for being here with us.